The world around us is changing dramatically and one of the big changes that we've seen the last few years has been the explosion of artificial intelligence and machine learning techniques in society. Computer science and engineering at the University of Minnesota has been at the forefront and involved in this since, since the 80s with work in artificial intelligence. So for example, Professor Maria Gini has worked in AI and rule-based systems and uh, agent-based systems for many decades. The department was at the forefront of recommender systems, the kinds of systems that recommend movies at Netflix or products at Target or Amazon. And currently the department is really at the forefront of several areas in health and medicine, in the better understanding of the climate and the environment, and the societal impacts of the application of AI and machine learning. So one of the largest projects we are working on right now is AI Climate. And this is a national responsible AI research institute supported by uh, USDA, National Institute for Food and Agriculture, and National Science Foundation. A key goal is to serve as a collaboration nexus to bring together academia, industry, government, and nonprofit to accelerate absorption of greenhouse gases by forests and agriculture to curb the climate change. Many people probably know that we can sequence genomes relatively efficiently now. What we can't do well is predict who's going to get disease from that, even though we know diseases are genetic. And so my lab is working on applying AI methods, uh, machine learning methods, to try to build better models to predict disease risk more accurately. One of the projects that we are working on right now is to help enhance clinicians' ability to interpret uh, tests such as electroencephalograms or EEGs. These tests are really complex and they take a lot of time to interpret. Uh, because of that, clinicians tend to make mistakes. So we are developing AI-based tools to help uh, augment this process and develop more uh, reliable, robust, and reproducible methods for EEG review. Groublands is a really special group at the University of Minnesota. We like to think of ourselves as people who do real human-computer interaction research on real systems. We deploy real things and evaluate how well they do in practice. The work that my group does um, focuses on how AI can be leveraged to study social media and improve people's mental health. We used a big data set of over 26 million Instagram posts to identify when somebody's mental illness may be getting better or possibly worse. And we were able to build an AI system that could predict up to six months in the future whether or not somebody's mental illness might change over time. There are a lot of people who are afraid that AI is going to replace them and take away from things that are really valuable and important to them. In the Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Many of us believe that AI should augment human intelligence and supplement the amazing work that humans do to be able to make better outcomes where AI and humans work together to come up with better decisions.